Hello everyone, and today I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create amazing mind maps of a part in an article, of certain ideas that you have, or any other relationships that you want to make visual. So to start off with, we're going to be using ChatGPT. We, I will go to um, an article. So I'm going to take the study implications part of the article. I'm just going to exactly copy it uh, from this section up until the end, and then I will paste it in my chat GPT box. I'm going to say um, create a mind map for the below study implications. Okay, so there are two Im other important parts to the prompt. Now I'm going to just add them here and I'm going to paste them for you in the description box. Let's just go through them quickly. So after we say create a mind map for the below study implications, include relevant subtopics, tools, methodologies to clearly show the key points. Please provide a code box with markdown language. And this is really important because we're going to use this in order to um, copy the code and add it to the mind map software that we're going to be using to create the mind map. And then, as you can see, we've already pasted in the section that we want to create a mind map about. Okay, and we're going to send the message to ChatGPT and start processing it. So you're going to see that it's now created the relationships for the mind map and the provided us with the code uh, for us to use. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the code exactly as it is. And we're going to move on to uh, the next part, which is simply going on to an online markdown editor. So the one I like to use is called Dilinga.io. Okay, so you go to Dilinga and create a new document. It will open up and you'll see all this code, which you don't need. I'll just select everything, control A, delete. And then I'm going to copy in the code that we got from ChatGPT. So once you have all the code now in Dilinga, um, the next thing you need to do is go to export as. So you'll find there's four different options to export. Make sure you choose the markdown one. So we're going to select that. And then now we can see that our file has been exported. And we're done with our second step. Now the third step will require you to download the mind map software. It's an easy free download to Xmind, so either xmind.app or xmind.com, and it will take you to this web page, same web page, and then at the top here you'll find an option to download. So depending on your platform, you can either download it for Windows, for iOS if you're using Mac, and so on. Okay, so once it's downloaded on your computer, you can now open Xmind and it will take you to that home page of the platform and you can see that it has different options. You've got the file, edit, insert, and then the different um, options to create mind maps. So in our case, what we're going to do is go to file and we're going to select import. And here it's important to choose markdown because that's the file that we've saved our mind map in. So I'm going to select markdown and then you're going to see it will just open up the files that are in that um, in that format from my computer, so .md. So I'm just going to open that. And then now you can see it's created a beautiful mind map that shows the different relationships in my study implications. It shows me the benefits of incorporating collaborative learning and then the subcategories under that, the impacts and then the subcategories of that as well, the activities that were uh, found to be useful, the implications for university students. Um, I've got some student learning outcomes here and recommendations for researchers and recommendations for higher education institutions. It's lovely colors, which I can play around with and change. Um, if I wanted to, I can just play around with the relationships as well. Um, and it's just a very nice visual feature that you can use to add to your presentations um, and even to summarize articles where you're not really understanding or to clarify some of your results. So I hope you found this video useful and please do let me know in the comments whether you're using any other mind mapping software and see you in the next video.